makes mistakes, even big YouTubers, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Hey YouTube, I'm Court McGinley, and welcome back to the most amazing top five. Before we get started, I wanna know, who is your favorite YouTuber and why? Let me know your answers down in the comments. And before we get started, I just wanna remind all of you to please subscribe to this awesome channel if you haven't already. We bring you guys new videos six days a week. And also show us some love by giving this video a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what other top five lists you'd like to see me do. All right, without further ado, let's get started on our list of the top five biggest YouTuber mistakes. Starting off at number five, Jake Paul. With Jake Paul, there's not just one mistake he's made, there's a handful. But for this list, let's narrow it down to being abusive, disrespectful, and racist. Now we all know that Alyssa Violet and Jake broke up last year. She came out with a video titled, What You've Been Waiting For. In it, she mentions how Jake cheated on her and disrespected her. Then in another video, she says how Jake was physically violent towards her and would playfully hit her way too hard, and once threw her into a cactus. Then there was the whole neighbor situation which basically resulted in him having to move. And then we get into the racist claims. A video has recently made its way online where Jake is rapping and says the n-word repeatedly. It's expected this video was taken 8 months ago during the weekend of Coachella. This also isn't the first time Jake displayed racist behavior. In a vlog from August 1st titled Self Driving Tesla, Jake comes across a fan. The fan says he's from Kazakhstan and then Jake said it sounds like you're just going to blow someone up. Send the nuke. Yeah, not something you should say to anyone, yet alone a young fan. At number 4, Sam Pepper. I'm sure you've all seen the Killing My Best Friend prank that Sam Pepper posted back in 2015. Just to refresh your memory, in this video, Pepper pranks a guy named Colby and Colby's best friend who's named Sam also. So we have Sam and Kobe in the car when Kobe acts like something's wrong with the car, so the two guys get out and check under the hood. Then all of a sudden, some guy in a mask appears and throws a bag over Sam's head and puts him into the trunk of the car. They drive around for a bit and then all of a sudden they're on a rooftop. The whole time Kobe's in on the prank but Sam has no idea. So Sam is on the rooftop tied to a chair and Kobe is beside him on his knees with his hands tied behind his back. Sam then has the bag taken off his head and he sees the kidnapper with a gun to his friend Kobe's head. Sam's pleading for his friend's life and begs the man not to kill him. Shortly after the man shoots off the gun and Sam thinks his best friend was killed right in front of him. This video got so much backlash during the time when Sam Pepper wasn't too well liked. So this really backfired and added more fuel to the fire. At number 3, Drama Alert. As I'm sure you all remember, Keemstar received a lot of backlash and a large drop in subscribers when he started a witch hunt after falsely identifying an innocent 62 year old Twitch streamer as a pedophile. Keemstar started the segment where he talked about a man named John Phillips, who was arrested for having sex with a 13 year old girl who he met on RuneScape. Clearly the research team over at Drama Alert weren't doing a very good job because they posted a photo and username of an elderly sweet Twitch streamer named Tony instead of John Phillips. And the internet basically attacked this sweet innocent elderly man by attacking his stream with hateful words and death threats. Not even 24 hours later it was discovered that Tony was not John Phillips. Then all the fans turned on Keemstar and apologized to Tony. Keemstar then issued a video saying how much he regrets the accusation and he's offered Tony money for his mistake. But Tony turned him down saying he just wants to move on with his life. Coming in at number 2, Mona Lisa Paris. Now this YouTuber isn't as well known, but she definitely made one of the biggest mistakes when she killed her boyfriend. Pedro was a 22 year old YouTuber who was accidentally killed by his girlfriend in a video stunt gone wrong. Pedro and his girlfriend Mona Lisa were filming a stunt video for their YouTube channel outside their home when Mona Lisa shot Pedro at short range. For this challenge, Pedro was holding a thick book in front of his chest and asked his girlfriend to shoot him with a pistol. Ok, so at this point, they should have already caught on that this was a bad idea. They wanted to see if the book could stop the bullet. Obviously the bullet made its way through the book and Pedro was shot in the chest. Like I said, they were filming when the shooting occurred, so there's multiple videos of the incident. The police were called and Pedro was pronounced dead at the scene. What makes this even crazier is that Mona Lisa, who was 20 years old, was 7 months pregnant with the couple's second child. She was charged with second degree manslaughter and reckless discharge of a firearm. And in at number 1, Logan Paul. Oh Logan Paul, you had to take your content to that next level didn't you? As you guys probably have heard by now, Logan Paul posted a video where he entered the suicide forest in Japan. After hiking off path for a couple hundred yards, he came across a man who had hung himself from a tree. And instead of turning the camera off, he decided it would be a good idea to film this man. While the face was blurred out, he went up to the body so he could get shots of the hands and torso. Throughout the video, Logan made several distasteful jokes and he's seen laughing a good portion of the time. It's just really disturbing and shocking that one of the biggest YouTubers would go this far just for content. Yes, he's a vlogger and he vlogs his life, but this is crossing a line. Even though this video clearly violates YouTube community standards, he still posted it. Of course, almost immediately, this video got so much backlash and Paul ended up deleting it. 
So many celebrities and YouTubers have commented on this and how disrespectful it was and how appalled they are by it. The following day he posted an apology video on his account titled So Sorry. But people are still on edge about this whole thing. And there you have it, that's a list of the top 5 biggest YouTuber mistakes. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.